All right, so I've arrived. Done the shit that I said I was going to do this morning. So everything's packed. Now just catching the pony and loading up and leaving. It's fucking cold.
That's disgusting. I don't have a spare one. That's disgusting. I'll hold him and you go and wash it. has to lift up and out the way and the outside front leg has to go forward. If he drops down, he won't be able to do it. Keep steady, steady, outside leg push. Good, keep the outside hind leg underneath your outside seat bone. Good, very good. Yep, super, three quarter line, keep his outside elbow up and around his inside nose. Chin up and leg yield. Step into your left stirrup. Up. Good. Up. Up. Good. That's better. That's better. Hey, yay! Sit up, sit up. Push up into your chest. Good. Try to keep his tongue forward. Yep. Very good. Now, the test is going to be can you leg yield? In trot. On. Uh, while he's running. So he thinks he's li less likely to stop when he's running. So put his bum in while he's running. Use that use that forward energy where he's running and he's not gonna stop then, he's not gonna jack up. So 
So he's running a bit, so use that forward energy and push his haunches in. Yes, that's it. So don't jump out of your stirrups. Do something with that pressure, yeah? Good. That's it. Well done. And then change rein. Haunches now. Push, because he's running. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Okay, well done. That's getting better through the neck. Now push on the new outside hind. Lift his inside jowl. Inside jowl. Yeah, good. Because I can tell he's going to implode on the right one. Okay, so lift up the right jowl and push on the left hind. <coughs> left ear up as well. Yeah, that's better. See if you can get that outside hind leg in. Good, good. Get the shoulder a bit out. Yep, yep, yep. Well done. And again now, push on the outside. Lift his outside ear a bit. Keep his chest up on the outside. Yep. And haunches in, shoulder out. Yes, Danica. Good, good. Can you flex him right without him dropping down? Good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, just keep working through it. And if he runs, use it. Yeah, use that to put your leg on and say, right, if you're going to run into the reins, then we can move your hind legs. Lift his chin, lift his jowl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Good job. It's a very interesting horse. He just... Yeah, good. Try and take his shoulder up and out, up and out. Try and take his nose in. Switch, switch, switch. Keep his shoulder up and out. Gotta make, the boy's got to make room for his front end. It's good boy. Sit more right if you can. Hang your right seat bone down and forward. So take your right knee off a bit more. Right knee off. Inside knee off. More. Ah, oh, he's very wide, I forget, yeah. <laughs> sit up, 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 sit up. Well done. Good. Good job. It's not to do that. It's got to work out a way through. Good boy. Now let him straighten up. Bring his outside shoulder in, in front of his inside hind leg, and now do a leg yield from your inside leg, so that you then reorganise his inside hind leg, yeah? So, hands up. Nose up, squidge in your outside rein. Good, good, good. Keep cantering on to the next ride, on to the next ride, on to the next ride. Good, do another leg yield from your inside leg. Lift his outside shoulder. Good, and leg yield from the inside leg. Lift his inside gullet. Good, good, good. And again, turn on the inner track or three quarter line. Lift his chin up around your inside leg. Good, good. Just keep leg yielding. Lift up his chin. Lift up his chin. Keep leg yielding. Lift up his chin. Good, 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 good. Well done. Good job, Danica. Lift up his chin. And leg yield again. Up, 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 up. He's got to keep moving forward. Good. Right. Thank you. He's got to cross his right hind leg a little bit more. He's tending to just put his shoulder out to the wall. So turn a bit earlier. Try to lift his chin up to me, and that'll force him to swing his bum out that way. Lift his chin up to me. Don't don't try and pull him out with your outside rein. Try and get that right hind leg to swing through. That's better. Circle. Sit up in the right side so he can balance into the right hind leg. Yeah, and then three centre line again. Lift his chin, good. And step into your right stirrup and push his right hind leg towards his left neck. Take his chin up towards the gate. There, that's better, that's better. And again, take his chin up towards the gate. Not to stop, mister. Good. And again. Doing good. Take his chin up to here. Hi. Good. Good. That's better, that's better. That's better. Good job. And then he had a release through his outside shoulder, yeah? It went forward more. Chin up, right hind leg, under. Chin to the gate. That's better, that's better, that's better, that's good. Chin up to the gate. And the last steps, yep, good. Well done, let him have a break. You can have a break too. Chin up, and he's gonna move a little bit away from your right leg as he walks. 
up to me. And it keeps moving onward. Yes, good. Yep, well done. Good. Lesson is finished. Yay! I had a really good lesson. Crunchy did his first traverse. Traverse. Yeah. Did so, well as well. And he had to do it in the trot in the can. And he really struggles with it going to the right, which you'll see. And you see when he gets blocked and he can't coordinate himself, he just kind of stops. Which, did you get any there? I have no idea what I got. Okay. Well, we might have got some. Brittany opens the gate. Yes. I'm not opening the gate. And I'm gonna open the gate. And I mean she could always be out here. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, like you see what I mean? Yeah, You've got to be able to sit right up into the withers and that's the easiest spot to sit on the horse. Yeah. Yes. This saddle puts you way back. And yes. because your knee is locked, you can't get your knee over. Oh, he's trying to. Yeah, he's trying to hollow and then he sh sh runs into his neck. Yes. That's it. Now you're feeling it. Good. Yes, good. Soften a push. And then squish, squish. So as he, as he goes to push forward, he's not to come up. As he goes to push forward, he pushes forward through his withers coming up, not through his neck coming up, yeah? 
That's it. Yes, good. Well done. Flex right. And he's not to come up with the middle of his neck. He has to pull the middle of his neck forward. Yes. Straighten his neck out, so Brian. See how he's trying to twist? Use a, use a little bit, yeah, use a little bit outside leg. Get the withers fat, good. And push his face forward and then squidge again. And he shouldn't run away, he should pull his blaze, or if he had a blaze, he should pull it away from your hands without looking up. Yes, good. So he comes over the withers, yeah? There, good. Now he's pulling his under neck up, yeah? Well, that's what, now go and try a leg yield and keep that feeling. So go large. Keep that feeling in your outside brain that when you squeeze into your outside brain, he lifts up his under neck and he pulls his neck forward. So he lifts up his under neck, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pulls his neck forward, lift up his under neck, outside brain, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Straighten his neck on the outside, straighten his neck and put it down. Put the middle of it down, don't make his nose tighter. Yes, that's it. Now he's round. Leg yield out, straighten through his under neck on the outside, good, good, so that you can feel that he pulls the reins forward over a very long top line from the middle of the saddle to the middle of his ears, it's like the base of the neck pulls up, straighten his ears, give inside rein a little bit, yes, good, now he should feel like he's released in the contact a little bit more. Change rein, good, ah, keep him around your inside leg, outside half hold. Your shoulder fell down, yeah? You got that feeling now? And now your new, new outside rein, outside leg, so he straightens up his outside body. And then your inside aids to get the bow and the positive pressure around your inside leg. Watch, he doesn't go too low now. It's kind of okay, push his face a little bit forward, just drop your hand out and lift it up. And leg yield. Maybe the leg yield will get him up. Yeah, it doesn't, which is interesting now. So, but he's not looking like he wants to stop either. So do it, challenge him a bit more. Straighten his outside neck. Ah, oh, he's shaking his neck, good. Left leg push and leg yield. Squidge into your outside rein. Yep, yep, good. Now lift his chin a little bit. So push his chin up or push his chin away from your hand. So push your hands very close together. Yep. Good. And leg yield again. Chin up. So watch he doesn't collapse down in front. Good. Okay. And now canter because that'll get him up again. But try and go really quick squeeze squeeze in your outside brain. So he doesn't chip in on his elbows. Yeah. Squeeze squeeze and push. Get your legs on. Get your legs working so you can work through his barrel. Outside brain squeeze squeeze. Give inside brain if you need to if it feels like he's going to back off and stop. Yeah, outside rein, squidge, squidge, and give inside rein and push with your outside leg. Good, that's better. And now soften your hand and push again. Squidge, squidge, outside rein. Middle neck is trying to climb. So now you need to get the middle neck pulling forward again. Yes, like that. Good. And again, middle neck, see how it wants to climb. And then he drops his withers. Good. And now soften your hand and push your hand away from your body and close your leg. And canter up to his open neck. Good. Move his outside shoulder in and his middle neck stays a bit low so he pulls over his withers and go large. Sit up, let it less canter a little bit and soften and less canter and soften. Good. Good. So even though now he's pulling forward, don't let him pull any more down. Leg yield out, leg yield out, do the opposite to what he wants to do. He starts to collide inward. Keep his chin up now. Yeah, good. So he canters up through his withers. Good. Leg yield out. Up through his withers. Now Travere haunches in. And keep squidging through your outside rein so he doesn't get locked down in his withers. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Squidge in your outside rein. Try and get the middle neck a little bit softer. Middle neck down. Haunches in. Outside rein. Check, check down. Check, check down. Check, check down. Yeah. Push his haunches in. Haunches in, haunches in, outside rein, check, check, let go, check, check, let go, check, check, let go. Good. Keep his withers fat, haunches in. 
wood and canter. Watches in. Oh. Stopping. Sit up. Sit up. Sit into it. Put your outside leg on. Outside leg on. Land in the aid for canter. And canter. So land in the aid for your left canter. Yeah, I know. That's better. <laughs> Little touch, touch on the right hind. Touch, touch. Good. Good, keep going, go, 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 don't look backwards, go. Oh, that's all right. Another fence, another one. <laughs> Has he broken one already? Squid your outside rein, squid your outside rein. Get his shoulder a little bit up and out. Up and out, especially now. Sit up. Half halt into your outside rein and push with your outside leg so he doesn't clunk on his inside elbow. That's better. Flex him left. Half hold into your outside rein, so shoulder stays right. Shoulder stay right, half hold right. Yep. Flex left. Half hold right. Flex left. Half hold right. Ah. Get his shoulder up. And flex left and bend left. Yeah. Get up. Yeah. Sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Put your leg on. Good. <laughs> Don't take your legs off. Don't stand in the saddle. Take his right shoulder out. He won't kick the fence. Good. 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 Get up. Take his right shoulder out. Good. Sit up. Good. Take his shoulder out. Half hold right, right leg. Good. Good. Half hold right. Half hold right. Right leg. Push. Right leg. Da -da -da on the rein. So he doesn't lay on you, doesn't lean on you. Good. 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 That's better. See how his counter slowed down and got bigger? It didn't get flatter and run. Keep it, keep it. Hind leg in, hind leg in, hind leg in. Good. Good. Jowl up a bit. Hind leg in. Jowl up a bit. Hind leg in. Jowl up. Hind leg in. Like people doing things on the internet. Yeah, exactly. What if they don't like something that he 
says and then they yeah. try and attack him and then I'll be like oh my god that's horrible yeah so I'm a bit like hmm what should we do but if we don't say who it is then they won't know yes so hmm. what will we do or should I put some of it in and some of it not in mm -hmm. I don't know